Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's been a while, but I'm back. Um, I am today using a 12, in a 12 by 12 inch Arteza black canvas. We're doing a swipe. I'm putting down a base layer. This is one part Amsterdam lamp black acrylic paint. Um, to There's three parts Ultral and then water to thin. And I don't want a lot of paint on this for this base, so I'm going to stretch this out and get it nice and thin because we won't be tilting. Um, okay, and the pouring medium. Let's see, this is Suster and Green's Gold. For the pouring medium, I'm using um, a one-to-one -one ratio of Color Arts Vivid Enamel and the Triple Thick Polyurethane Varnish. So it's just a one-to-one. -one. Um, no water to thin or anything. Um, I did need to th actually thin down the gold, and I used some Folk Art Polyurethane uh, gl Gloss Varnish. I just put a few drops, mixed it until it was thin enough for my swipe. This one here is Arteza's pearl copper gold and I wanted it to be more copper so I actually added um, primary elements copper to it I wet down the pigment first before I added the pouring medium and um, the tube paint I actually what I did was I put a small scoop of the copper on the bottom of the cup and then a tiny bit of the pouring medium just to wet the pigment and get it to disperse or dissolve um, and then I added the two paint and then the pouring medium if that makes sense and this color that I just poured down is Amsterdam's Van Dyke Brown and I added primary elements bronze to give it a nice shimmer um, and same thing with that one as well. I wet it down first, the primary elements. Um, that is Lamp Black by Amsterdam with the pouring medium. So the Vivid Enamel, one part Vivid Enamel and one part Polyurethane Triple Thick Varnish. Um, I have to do a mixing video of that. But I did, I actually followed, if you, I'll link her below, but I followed... Um, Sashki's recipe how she uses the vivid enamel and it works fabulous so I will link her below so you can check out her mixing video she does a fabulous video on mixing um, but I will I'll try and get one down as well for you guys the cell activator that I just poured the white is a one-in-one -one Australian flood flow trawl and Amsterdam's titanium white so I'm just using I cut up the um, little cardboard bits, the card bits of the that the canvas came in. So I just cut different sizes. And I'm just lightly swiping over. So I won't be doing much tilting on this. That's why I did a very, very, very thin base layer. So there wouldn't be tons of paint left over on the canvas. So it would dry nice. Um, always Clean. I'm just scraping it on my um, mat there, my Lily Vuffy, which I have a five five dollar off on the jumbo and the mega mat. Check below in the description for coupon codes. I have twenty percent off on uh, any color art product. Um, that's where I get the primary elements. Check below for that. I'll link the website and then the coupon code. So, yeah, I'm just slightly swiping and then cleaning off or going to a new swiper. So, yeah, sorry I haven't posted videos, guys. I've been super busy with Christmas and the holidays, just everything, the kids, and it's been a fabulous, fun time. So now we're just taking decorations down and getting 
sorted. The kids start school tomorrow and all that. So busy bee. I'm just spinning this around. Swipe the other side. I really like how this one turned out. It's like kind of, um, I don't know, it reminds me of like a, like leather or something. It's, I love it. And keep um, an eye out. I'm going to be doing an Arteza giveaway video coming up um, hopefully this week if I can find the time to get that video out. Okay, just swiping away, guys. And I've also started using, I used to use the giant pegs to raise my canvas. Um, but now, instead of dealing with the big pegs and peeling the paint and all that off, it was kind of getting annoying. So I'm using just little um, teeny tiny tack nails, I think they're called. I just hammer those in, make sure it's leveled, and then... When I'm done, pull them out, and if they're okay, reuse them. If they're not, I just toss them in the bin. Now, I believe I kind of just tilt back and forth a bit just to stretch out those cells a bit to get them to grow. There's no silicone or anything in this. But I'm definitely really getting into the swipes now, guys. It's hard to get the um, shimmer of the primary elements on camera, but just stick around for the close-up because you can really see them. Yeah, I was iffy about that last swipe there. But turns out it turned out nice. I like it anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I like putting that, um, the black paint down just before I put the cell activator down because you get these nice black island cells. So I'm just kind of tilting back and forth just to kind of stretch them, stretch those middle cells out a bit. And I got the black canvas. Um, they're nice to work with because you don't have to paint them first around the edges. Because, you know, when you're doing black canvas sometimes, or when you're doing a black base on a white canvas, you usually have to go back and or pre-paint the edges black. But with these, you don't have to worry about that. So you just kind of mix up your paints and go. So they're all right. I think they're new. Um, they are on the UK site anyway. But I will link that below. I have affiliate links and all that below and discount code. They have um, a few different sizes as well. Yeah, so this is me thinking. <laughs> Just a bit more stretching. Anyway, I hope you guys had a fabulous holiday. We did. The kids had so much fun. We just got back from a little hotel break in Wexford. It was nice. Okay, so keep your eye out for the shimmer. 
of those primary elements. Yeah, gorgeous. The cells are just fabulous. Um, but listen, guys, thanks for watching and tuning in. Sorry, it's been a few, a couple, I think it's been like two weeks maybe since I posted my last video. I love that. Oh, I love that. Okay. Um, but yes, subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell for notifications. Check out my links below and all that good stuff. Um, I hope you guys are all well and getting back into, um, pouring. I know I had to take a break, unfortunately, but I'm back at it. So keep your eye out for my videos. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon before I get kicked off here. Um, have a nice day, night, morning, evening, whichever you find yourself in when you're watching this. All right, guys, bye.